Somebody is extremely good at competitive programming and mm. just completely cracks lead code. Mm. Um, will that person be able to get a job, let's say, at a AAA company without uh, without doing any projects? <laughs> without doing any projects. Um, so I will say that I have never met anyone in my life who has gotten a job from competitive programming. Um, not to say that it doesn't happen, I'm sure it does, um, but I've never met anybody who's got a job that way. And if you're interested in gaming, you almost certainly will not get a job that way. Um, because there's a lot of people who can, so I guess there's, there's two things. Um, the first is that, um, you know, being good at software engineering and having the fundamentals doesn't make you a good software engineer. There's a lot of other skills that are relevant, that are necessary, right? There's design, there's uh, your ability to learn quickly, your ability to learn on a team, your ability to communicate with other people, your ability to write clean code, right? There's all kinds of things that, um, you know, kind of build together in order to make you a software engineer. The competitive programming side of things, the like being able to write an algorithm that does this thing in O of, you know, one time, <laughs> you know, like those, those uh, skills are good and they're good to know, you know, you know, in terms of, um, you know, efficiency, space and time considerations, but ultimately that's not what most programming is, right? I think, you know, the, the myth is that, you know, I always see these ads where they're like, oh, like you got to learn how to crack the code, right? Like there's no cracking the code, right? Like most interviews are almost entirely unrelated to the actual job, right? You'll get interviewed on, you know, how to build a tree and which is good information you need to know. You should know how the data structures and such work. But I've never built a tree in my entire life, right? Like outside of like a classroom so or, or an interview. So it's, you know, this is not a skill that you, that necessarily, you know, translates into being a good software engineer. So I, I, if you're very good at competitive coding, then I'm very happy for you because you'll probably do very well once you get into an interview. But if you want to get through that door, your resume has to have projects on it or else you are not getting into that door.